Welcome to Name Check. I'm Michael Riedel of the New York Post, and uh, I'm falling in love as we speak with an absolutely beautiful and talented young actress, Mercedes Mason, which is how you pronounce it here in America, but you're Swedish. So how do I actually pronounce your last name? Masson. Mercedes Masson. Mm -hmm. I rather like Masson. Do you? I do, very much, very much. I like the eyebrow raise that goes along with it. That's the only way to say it properly. I know. It's, you, when you say your name, you have to pretend you're Roger Moore, the old James Bond. Mercedes <laughs> Masson. And one eyebrow goes up, but so does the other. Uh, welcome to Name Check. Uh, you are here because you've got a movie coming coming out, 666 Park Avenue. TV show. TV show, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I assume that 666, which is the sign of the devil, indicates that there's some sort of a supernatural or a scary thing going on here. Can you tell us a little there about is, the show? We've actually been kept in the dark. It's an ABC show. Um, the actors ourselves, we every week we find out something new. So mm. initially we were sort of the, under the impression that um, Terry O'Quinn, who plays the owner of the building, mm -hmm had something devilish going on, maybe he's sort of the devil himself. And the more we find out, we start realizing it's the building itself. Itself, There's something not right. Um, mm. I, of course, went way deep, started getting all psych psychology on it, and <laughs> thought, if you really break it down, it's almost like um, purgatory. Mm -hmm. All of us have been brought into that building. We can't really leave, and the only way to go out seems to be to die. Mm. Um, and all of us have a very dark and terrible past that we're little by little starting to uncover. Mm. So I think we've all sort of been brought together here. Not to, not to get too highbrow. Agatha Christie-ish, and then there were none, <laughs> so to speak. Or not to get too highbrow here at the New York Post, but the whole purgatory sense, is, is there kind of a, a Dante-esque Dante -esque kind of thing going absolutely. on there? The circles of hell yes, and whatnot, absolutely. and this building could represent that in some way? And I, I actually love the publicity that went around it. If you notice, most people have seen it's a long staircase, and it sort of plunges into the dark abyss. Mm. So if you think about it as Dante's Inferno. Yeah, well, the deeper you Every, get, you, there right. you, you go. go down, and you know, in the in, in, in the uh, the the <coughs> last uh, circle of Dante's hell is is the traitor, oh, is Brutus. My Judas first dog Brutus. was named Dante. Really? After Dante's Inferno. You know, I'm a big Dante fan, actually. <gasps> I went to once. I Wait, went our love is just growing. You I realize know, this? Know, <laughs> She's my. You're my Beatrice. Beatrice was the <gasps> inspiration to Dante when he wrote the Inferno. And mm -hmm. you can go in Florence. You can go to the church. Still stands where Dante first saw Beatrice with her family leaving the church and fell in love with her. Really? Yeah, when he was a teenager. And you know I'm a big Shakespeare nut. Oh, who isn't? I that? mean... Jealousy, tis the green-eyed monster that doth mock the meated feeds of God. Be still my heart, <laughs> Just my call me Yaga. <laughs> 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 All right, getting back to these uh, yes, serious yes, TV shows. Yes, questions and answers. Six Six Park Avenue. There's a real 66 Park Avenue here there in New York. Is. People don't know that. Right, there actually is, but it's sort of tucked away. The outside of our building is the old Ghostbusters building, which right. is on the Upper West Side. And oh, apparently this is on the Upper East Side. Oh. So I have to go do some digging to myself. Check that up. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, New York actually, if you think about the TV shows and movies, there have been some uh, very famous buildings used. Uh, for example, the Dakota, famously in Rosemary's Baby, which right. is another supernatural kind of thing. So. Which we have a bit of that in our oh, show as well, Rosemary's what, Baby. Tell me about um, that. There is a little bit of... Again, at some point there was a baby involved. You'll see there's a reference. Th I, I just don't know how much I can tell. There's right, a reference right, right, right. to a child, and you'll see how that child was born in the building. You'll see how that sort of twists and comes about as mm. to what that means, who that child may or may not grow up to be. Mm. Um, mm. So there's a lot of that. It's a little bit of Devil's Advocate, if people have seen that movie. Right, right, right. Um, right, right, right sort right, of made right. into TV version. And they keep the scripts uh, away from you until mm. the last minute, so that we literally fear that something leaks, you don't want anything to leak out exactly. or give the, give the plot away. Exactly. And if nothing else, it's such a great surprise for us, too, that we sit and we sort of plot against what, what we think is going to happen. and. The writers are amazing. I mean, David Wilcox, our director, has such a great vision, and you can see that he's thought episodes and episodes ahead. He really knows the whole layout, and he knows exactly all the little ins and outs of how he's going to get our characters to come to their fulfillment and mm. how we interact with one another. Now, who another. do you play in this uh, TV series? What's I, your character? Yeah, I play Louise Leonard. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and I, who's played by Robert Buckley, live in the building when the show begins. I play a fashion photographer. And in the pilot, which is aired, uh, for those who haven't seen it, I, I don't want to give it away, but something terrible happens to my character. And so um, I'm put you off. You killed off in the pilot. I know, can you imagine? <laughs> my ghost returns. Uh, not quite. Do not die off. Knock on wood. Um, but something terrible does happen. And, um, you know, it, it takes away the biggest job as a fashion photographer for Vogue that I was about to have. So now I've sort of been plunged right back into starting from scratch. Mm. And the whole thing with the building is you sort of make a deal with the devil. How willing, how willing are you, you and too. what are you willing to give right. to get everything you want? Ooh, sounds 
creepy. Salacious, and I know it is creepy. <clears throat> now, uh, this is the first time you we don't met. know what I had to do to get on this show. It was disgusting. I mean, <laughs> trail of blood behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Stabbing the little uh, people on your way up yep. the ranks. Now we haven't, we've never met before, but uh, I have a feeling we'll be meeting again. <laughs> um, I want to ask you your background. How did you become an actress? You grew up in Sweden. Yeah, grew up um, in Sweden. Like you know, all those um, Ingmar Bergman movies were <laughs> what you watched as a kid. Big Liv fan, Olden, actually. All those sort of, yeah, yeah. That fabulous. and of course, Pippi Longstocking, obviously. <laughs> And Huge influence on my life. And ABBA. <laughs> of course. Benny um, and Bjorn. You, you know. better not even. <laughs> I know you Americans are not big ABBA fans, but. Um, Mamma Mia. We love Mamma Mia, darling. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, what, yeah, so you're growing up. I mean, you're obviously a beautiful, beautiful woman, but what was it that. Makeup and lighting. <laughs> Underneath all this? <laughs> disgusting. Oh, it is. Yeah. I know. That's like, um, what was it as a kid that sort of got you thinking, yeah, I'd like to be in front of the camera, I'd like to be on stage? You know, my best friends and I um, ended up always sort of playing, you know, you will go out and you play with your friends, and we didn't have the traditional, oh, you be a cop and I'll be a robber. We always role played. I was always the actress, my friend was the director, and then we had the producer, if you believe it or not. The three of us, yeah, Tommy and Anna. That's pretty hardcore yeah. when you're, you know, role playing with a producer. You have no idea, and, you know, of course I was the diva. I'm naturally, yes. I'm, I get that vibe, darling. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, it was it was great fun, and we always pretended. I've always wanted to be an actress. I was, was the kid in, in class who was sort of the class clown, and I would make my parents laugh. And Yeah, you have I, a lovely I'd sense like, of humor, you know. Thank you. The beauty, you. the brains, and the humor. It doesn't always come together. Deal with the much. devil, again. <laughs> oh, my God. I You know, firstborn child, so that one's gone. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting. But I know what two. it's like to be beautiful and smart and, and witty, clearly. Obviously. So, you know, we're cut from the same I'm intimidated, cloth. to say the least. You know, Christopher Walken once said to me, the wonderful actor, he said, I asked him about why he became an actor in his background. He said, you know, when I was a kid, we would go to the movies, and then afterward, we'd go to the parking lot, and we would just reenact the movie. And, and that's he, what it is. That's and how he it said, starts. And he said, that's pretty much what acting is. Yeah. I said, tell me about and your training. And therapy is yeah, the other right, thing. Right. Think yeah. about it. I mean, yeah. we literally, you exercise. I'll tell you scenes where perhaps I've had a terrible day or something horrible has happened, and I have a scene where I need to cry or something. By the end of that day, when I'm done shooting, I've sorted it out. Right. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, right. there's nothing else. You know, you're, I think human nature sort of wants us to sort things out. And when you cry it out, when you talk it out, it's yeah. gone. You yeah. can't just dwell on it forever. Absolutely. So. But now, when you're growing up in Sweden, what 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 is the sort of theatrical or movie industry in Sweden? How did how do you break into that, or did you move to? I America? didn't. I was young enough when I moved here. I, I moved around the age of 12, 13. So. Mm -hmm. So you um, hadn't. You're, you weren't a child actor. No, no, nothing right. like that. Um, in fact, my parents are very old school. So for them, it was law school, med school. Mm -hmm. Take your pick. Right, right. I can't right, right. stand the sight of blood. Right. <laughs> and uh, you know, in the sense of an attorney, I, I can can't only stand argue. The sight of I know it's, exactly, <laughs> and I can only argue so much before I go. Oh. What Whatever you win, right, it's fine. Right, right, right. Not a good lawyer make. Do you see what right, I'm saying? Right, right, so right. Um, I thought, you know, psychology, if nothing else, is what I got my degree in. And mm -hmm. I thought, all right, I can, I can do this. This is interesting. It's, um, it's really captivating. Right. But as soon as I was done with school, I graduated a year early. I took a year off, thinking I'll travel, I'll figure things out. And uh, I went back to my modeling agency. I was modeling at the time, mm -hmm. and I sort of said, you know, thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm done with all of this. I enjoy eating. <laughs> Silly concept. <laughs> Um, and they said, why don't you go on this one audition? We love your personality. You've been talking about acting since we signed you. And, you know, shits and giggles. Right, right. Sorry if I can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Diarrhea and giggles, yeah. <laughs> but that, that's, what they, that's what they say. That, uh, we, they or that do. we say, we'll do one more take for blank and giggles. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Right. Blank and giggles. So they yeah. said blank and giggles. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it ended up being for the movie The Breakup with Vince mm -hmm. Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston. My, my scene got cut. Right. But from that, I mean, I had no idea what I was doing in the audition. I literally walked in, joked around. They're like, you got it. That was it? So I thought, I thought this is the easiest, easiest career in the world. <laughs> <laughs> my God, everyone should do this. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So then, you know, I got my agent that way, my manager, and it just sort of took yeah, off. And so you're, you're on your way. Yeah. Uh, all right. The TV show is called 666 Park Avenue. What network is it on? ABC. ABC. Sunday nights, Sunday 10 nights. p.m. Ooh. Eastern Time. It's kind of a... Spooky, Rosemary, Baby, mm -hmm. Omen, Dante-esque kind of show. Yes. Sounds fun. Yes. And, uh, uh, yes, it is. And we're going to be looking for you, And you've only missed one episode, so tune in. Absolutely. Tune in. Can you, can you <laughs> kind of jump in at any time and still get the gist of what's going on, or do you have to have sort of follow from the beginning? Um, I mean, it, I would recommend following from the beginning because there's so much information given. I think if you jump in, you'll get the gist of it, but to see all the sort of ins and outs, I think you would. Did you hear my accent just came out? <laughs> my out. <laughs> can, can you give me a little Swedish accent? Do you still have a little? Can you do a yeah. little? Yeah. More yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be very funny if you only spoke Swedish at every question. I would say, so tell me about this movie. Is it this? Is it a TV show? Is that you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Or better yet, if I just, just kept saying, 
No English. No, no. <laughs> Are you free for a drink at five? I know. Do you mind? No, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm wasted right now. Why not add another <laughs> Absolutely. one? Absolutely. <laughs> you think there's water in here, but oh no. All right. You're a actually beautiful, charming, very smart, and uh, witty guest, Mercedes Mason, as we say in America, but as we say in Sweden, Try Mercedes. It. Try to say it. Mason. Mercedes Abba. That's what we yep. said. Right. Done. <laughs> All right. Done. Well, watch uh, 666 <laughs> Park Avenue on ABC with Mercedes Mason. <laughs> <laughs>